Do you think that, and is it your experience? And I also know you've done a lot of research, like do Jews run the world? Are Jews running, are Jews the reason why everything is terrible in the world as a lot of narratives aim to convince us? <laughs> no, um, I don't believe that. Um, that way of thinking is actually on a, deep level, the same as the way of thinking that generates the Holocaust, which is that you try to find, it could be Jews, it could be, it could be some other group, but you try to find the bad guys mm -hmm. in order to explain everything that is painful and uncomfortable and tragic in the world with the idea that if you eliminate the bad guys, then we won't have any problems anymore because they were the source of the problems. Mm -hmm. So that's the same that there was a point i made in that essay that got me in trouble i'm like that's the same thought form that is feeding the persecution of the unvaccinated mm -hmm. it's like let's you know covid's still here you know like like we have not all become safe and healthy all of a sudden because of you, you know even though the vaccines have been oh that must be because of the unvaccinated mm -hmm. like this this and, and the exclusion from society, like like really inhuman proposals about what to do with the unvaccinated were becoming current. And I'm, I, was, I was alarmed by it, partly because of my Jewish heritage. Um, it's like, we've seen this before. We've seen this kind of scapegoating before. So this way of thinking, I'm really allergic to, mm -hmm. you know, to, to locate evil in some subcategory of human beings. Right. Now that doesn't mean like, yeah, I think that there are a lot of Jews in um, positions of power uh, in, especially in the financial industry and, you know, in, in politics in various ways, a lot of the neocons in the U S are Jewish. Mm -hmm. um, but that doesn't mean that, you know, we don't, I don't want to like reverse cause and effect here. It's not that because they're Jewish, they're, there, you know, it's not that like that membership in the elite is is controlled by Jewish people. It could be um, because of certain cultural traits that help Jewish people rise to high positions, and it could be in the in you know elite institutions, uh, or it could be in academia. You know, it could be in business in other ways. Like suppose, like I mean, there's a lot of successful Jewish auto auto dealer owners, you know, running like Ford dealerships. Right. Like they've done really well. Is that because there's, you know, an evil cons like a conspiracy to install Jews in, in successful auto dealerships, or is it because maybe there's some cultural thing of working hard, you know, or some traditions of business savvy, mm -hmm. 